Greg, hey, congratulations on the move to Peacock. Thank you. <laughs> so, so when you created this show years ago, did you think that the office phenomena was going to be this big? Well, you know, it was originally a show in England and the, the trajectory in England was similar. Like it started off very low rated and then got to be very big. And um, so, you know, when I adapted it, uh, certainly we were hopeful that uh, that, that was going to happen. Um, but, uh, you know, not this big. I mean, <laughs> this is, uh, you know, on Netflix, it really got to a height that I don't think anybody could have uh, predicted. Um, and uh, so, you know, but, but now hopefully, uh, hopefully the fans will find it on Peacock as well. And, um, you know, and the, the, the being on Peacock is cool because we, we got to go back to the original footage because it's uh, Peacock's NBC and the office was originally NBC. And so I went back in with uh, a lot of the, uh, the original uh, editors, uh, Dave Rogers and Rob Burnett. And we, we pulled out a lot of stuff that nobody's ever seen before out of the bin of dailies and added it to season three so when you watch the show on peacock you have the choice on season three you can see these what we're calling uh, super fan episodes mm -hmm. which are these extended play episodes um, that have stuff nobody's seen before so that's kind of fun that was an exciting thing to do so for for some fans or some people who have never seen the show before how is the best way to watch it? Do you suggest binging or do you suggest like um, randomly selecting the best highlights? What, what would you suggest? Uh, well, you know, I, I think you should start at the beginning. Uh, the, um, the show, you know, kind of settles into a good place, I think pretty quickly. I think the episode two was one of our best uh, called Diversity Day. Um, and then by the time you hit uh, the Dundies, which is the first episode of uh, season two, which is really episode seven, uh, I think it kind of feels like the show that uh, is the classic version of The Office. Um, so I would start from the beginning because there, there is a romantic uh, arc and a lot of people really enjoy watching the, the romantic relationships develop. And if you watch them out of order, you really don't have a good feel for, for what's happening. One of the things that I love about you is your writing because you come up with amazing writing with, you know, th this show, Upload and Space Force. But what we do want to know is how much credit should it actually be to yourself with your writing and how much credit it, is it to the cast for the randomness? Uh, yeah, I, well, you know, um, I think that uh, it should be both. I, I, I would like to get some credit for the writing, but, um, and, you know, we have a lot of great writers on the series. Um, uh, the cast are amazing improvisers, and they often added tremendously, you know, funny stuff or took what we had and, and brought it to another level. Um, you know, uh, kind of more, more fearless than we even thought uh, in the writing. So for instance, there's an episode where um, Oscar, the character Oscar comes out and uh, uh, is sort of outed by, by Michael and Michael wants to make it up to him. And I had him in my script, I wrote it, I had him embrace Oscar in front of the group and Steve added that he, he went in to kiss him. And, you know, nobody knew that was going to happen um, until we shot it. And, you know, it was such a great, uh, added, you know, uh, element. Uh, so uh, often they, they pushed it to the heights uh, and we, we, we would get them, you know, within sight of the top of the mountain. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Greg, hey, thank you very much. This is a quite enjoyable conversation. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Gig.